Now, the biggest mistake I see beginners that are getting into dropshipping is selecting the wrong product to sell. This is a massive issue inside of the dropshipping space, ways, mixed opinions on how to find the best products to sell. And in this week's video, we're gonna be covering how I find my million dollar products in less than 10 minutes. Hello everyone, Josh Carter here. Welcome back to the channel. I've been in the e-commerce space for around three to four years and have crushed a million dollars in sales. So as you can see by the title of this video, I'm gonna be showing you how to find million dollar products in less than 10 minutes using my strategies. Now this winning product formula that I've created covers four simple metrics on determining if your product is a winning product. And without any further ado, let's jump into the top four ways I find my winning products that validate that they're proven to sell. Now the first thing that you need to look at when you're selling your products is the product engagement. Now before you list any products onto your eBay store, onto your Shopify store, you want to make sure that this product is going to grab your ideal clients. When you are searching for a product with really good engagement, the video ad that you're watching must grab their attention within the first three to five seconds. Otherwise, it's not going to be sustainable. Now put yourself in the customer's shoes. If you saw this ad and in the first three seconds you were hooked, now that may be a great reason to see that the product is a winning product. If the product that you're selling or wanting to sell does not have a wow factor, there's no kind of reason, it doesn't solve a problem, there's no emotion attached to the product, it's most likely never going to sell. Now the second thing that I look at when I'm wanting to sell a product is the price point. Now, when I'm finding a correct product to sell, I'm aiming for a price point of around $15 to $75 every single time. Now the reason for this is that it creates an impulse buy. And what I mean by impulse buy is that Customers, when they see the product, they're not gonna have to think about it and see, oh, can I get it for somewhere else cheaper? They're gonna immediately check out the product page and buy it immediately. Now, the benefits of having you know, that impulse buy is that you're gonna drive more sales, your AOV, average order value, is gonna be a lot higher, and the LTV, so the lifetime value of the customer, and the LTV, so the lifetime value of that one customer, they have a greater chance of coming back and purchasing more products from yourself. Now, around this product price range, you wanna make sure that you're marking it up for around three to four X. This guarantees you that you're gonna be making really good profit margin. And also, if it is selling well at that price, you can by all means adjust it and make even more profit by selling it for higher. There's no point selling a product if the markup on it is minimal. I've seen so many people list products with only five to $10 profit. And when you think about it, if that product sells, you're not gonna be happy making $10 profit on a product. So make sure that when you're selling product, you have high profit margin. Now, the third thing that I look at when finding a winning product is the marketing angles. And what I mean by that is when you're selling a product, whether it's through a video ad to get more engagement, you wanna make sure that it's targeting your ideal client. And what I mean by that is put yourself in the customer's shoes. What do you wanna see that you will buy? Am I gonna be engaged to this? Is the price of this product good? You wanna make sure you're targeting your ideal client and really ask yourself the question, what customer best suits this product so you can target those customers? And another thing to ask yourself is, how would your ideal client wanna be presented the ad? They're questions that you're gonna to have to test by running ads to see if the product's going to sell. And coming in at number four, last but not least, is brandability. What I've seen, and this is a very big mistake beginner dropshippers make, is that you see that there's a high churn and high burn rate. And what I mean by that is, one week, they're selling this product, it's going really well, and then you just see it die down consecutively weeks on weeks. What I like to do is focus on building a actual brand. So what I mean by brandability at the start is that you wanna make sure that there's longevity with the product, that it's not gonna burn out within the coming months, and that it's customizable. And what I mean by that is have custom packaging, custom logos, really get that brand feel. And let's be real, I think having a brand is a bit more fun than just having a you know product store that's gonna burn out within the first few months. So this is my kind of criteria on how I find my winning products. And now let's actually go onto the laptop and talk about my first method on how to find those winning products using the criteria I just stated. Okay, so I've just jumped onto Amazon here and what you wanna do is actually go to amazon.com and then do slash best sellers. So I've done this before, obviously, and this is gonna show you a list of products that are best selling right now. Now, 
this is a really good way on finding products that have, you know, really good sales. That if they're on the best sellers list, they're bound to sell on eBay or Shopify. You know, you want to make sure that there's good engagement. And what I mean by that is having a lot of reviews. So as you can see here on these listings, there's always a lot of reviews on these products. So they're bound to do really good sales, really good volume. When you see like 30,000, 40,000, you know that it's been a winning product in the past. And you wanna make sure you're using those four methods that I've kind of explained earlier in the video to validate this. So price point, as I said, it has to be around between that 15 to $75 mark. So I was just scrolling down and I saw these best sellers in automotive. Now I've seen this vacuum product all over TikTok. Now, well, the best thing about this is that obviously it's in that 15 to $75 price range. So that's really, really helpful. So the product engagement on this product is unreal. 241,000 ratings just on this one product alone. The marketing angles for this, you know, when you're making a TikTok video, maybe to explain this, you can say, hey, do you wanna have a cleaner car? Do you wanna have cleaner car sheets? And then you can show an ad of this product, you know, taking off all that grit and grime from the car. That would probably target a lot of people that obviously have cars, that have a dirty car, a great product, really easy to kind of market this product. Brandability, you know, you can see that this product is already branded. It's already kind of has that wow factor. It's, you know, very helpful. It's portable. It kind of solves that problem of all those cords and everything like that. So definitely a winning product in my eyes right off the bat. And I used all four points to validate that this is a winning product. Make sure you use these four things when we're talking about or when we're finding the right products to sell. Super, super important. This is how easy it really is. People make it seem so hard. They say, oh, use software, use this. This is actually how easy it really is. Now, my second way on how I find, you know, really good product to sell is by going to Amazon Movers and Shakers. So this is basically gonna be showing you the products that are ranking, you know, the products that are going up, the products are going down, the ones with the best gains, um, and the ones that are basically increasing all the time. So very beneficial. The same thing applies. You know, you wanna make sure that there's good product engagement. It's within that 15 to $75 range. It has good brandability um, and good marketing. So I was just scrolling and I found that this product here. Now, the first thing we wanna look at is the product engagement. Now. The engagement on this product, it seems to me that there is not many reviews, but it was on the movers and shakers list. So it's definitely worth a product testing. Another thing to look at is the price point. So it's within that, you know, 15 to $75 range, which is great. And now the marketing angles for this product, this is super easy. So you can make a TikTok saying, you know, do you want a more convenient life? You know, this could kind of target people that are on the go, that are traveling, or maybe that they're working from home and they wanna have an organized desk space. This would just target to those ideal clients. So that would kind of be your ideal client, you know, people that work from home, people that want to have, you know, a more cleaner, neater desk and so forth. And another thing, as I said, coming in at number four is that brandability. So this product, you can brand it. I'm sure you can think of a logo, you can put it on this product, make sure you get custom packaging and really kind of make it feel like that branded feel so then it's not going to be, you know, popping one month and gone the next. So we want to focus on building a brand. No one focuses on high burn, high churn, but that's just the reality, what happens with these products that are just kind of hit or miss. Now, my third and final way on how I validate and find my winning products is by using AliExpress. Don't roast me in the comments about AliExpress. I know it's very slow shipping. The product quality is the best, but you can get really good ideas from using AliExpress. And what you can do, you can just go to AliExpress.com start scrolling down and just kind of clicking on products that you think, you know, kind of solve a problem or anything. I know this is in Poland currency. I don't know why, don't ask me why. So what you can do is you can click on a product and then, you know, this is what I love to do. So I click on a product and then it's gonna recommend similar products to this every single time I click on one of these. So if I click on this, it's gonna to refer to more products like that. Now, I didn't know if you guys knew about that tool because um, it kind of studies you know, what you do on AliExpress. Now, if I go ahead and find a kind of like a, you click on it, one thing you can do, like I said, you click on similar items. So if you wanna see similar items around that, it's gonna bring up a bunch more. So one thing that you could do is, you know, this was an old winning product back in the day. You can go and search up Paul Vacuum. You can find it, click on it, and then it's gonna recommend more products that are like that, more problem-solving products. So one thing can kind of lead to another. 
If you go down to the bottom, I'm sure they're gonna list even more seller recommendation. So now you're gonna be having all these skincare products. If you did pet supplies, you're gonna have all pet products. Stuff that solves a problem, stuff that's kind of unique that you haven't seen before. Definitely very underrated way on how to find winning products that have the wow factor. Price point's never gonna be an issue. The engagement's never gonna be an issue because if it's on AliExpress, they genuinely have sold a lot already. And you can also analyze and finalize that by the order quantity. And that should be found here at the top of the listing. Um, this definitely has a few thousand reviews on it and the eight orders. So I managed to actually get it to the Australian currency and stuff like that. So for example, let's just do a product and then we can wrap up the video here. But what I would probably say is this product, for example. So as you can see, this is obviously for wrinkly skin. It solves kind of that problem. It only has two orders, which is very low, but it's within that price point of, you know, maybe not 15 to 75, 10 bucks is still fine. I'm sure there's shipping costs, so it's okay. Now, marketing angles for this product, you can easily target, you know, those pain points that, you know, do you want, do you never want wrinkly skin again? Using TikTok to find your audience. Now, if you're on eBay, you're selling these products on eBay, they're going to know what customers want by, you know, who clicks on it, who views it, who buys it. So it's gonna do the same thing. I'm just saying that if you're using TikTok to market and find your products, it's definitely gonna be okay. Now, one thing with this brandability is that you can definitely brand this product. You can obviously put a logo on it. You can put a logo on every product. But with this, this is a product that is not gonna have high churn, high burn. This product, it will be around forever because this problem will never be going away. People's skin will get wrinkly, as you can see here. <laughs> I'm joking, but probably not many guarantees that it is because it is from AliExpress, but definitely a good product because it does solve that problem. So that's it for this video, guys. That's how I find my million dollar products in 10 minutes. If you guys found value from the video, please hit the like button. And if you are new around here, don't forget to subscribe. We only have this many people subscribed to the channel, so please subscribe if you are new. That's it for this video. You guys have an amazing rest of your day. Peace.